What I love about the 259 and now the 259T is all the different CV inputs. If we look at this in context, back in the early 70s, um, most uh, oscillators had maybe a pitch input and maybe uh, pulse width modulation input. Uh, in the Buchla from the early 70s, the 259, you had inputs for two different uh, pitch inputs, one was fixed and one was variable for each oscillator. Uh, you had modulation index, and then you had three different CV inputs for the timbre and harmonic section. And one of the things I love is playing games with those uh, CV inputs and seeing what we can do. So here are three different ways of approaching them. I'm sure you'll find lots of other ways. Enjoy. Because of all the CV inputs here in the timbre harmonics section, one of my favorite uh, experiments is to send different CVs to all of these and then use the mod oscillator as an LFO and add even more modulation from here to there. So we have a lot of modulation. That's the beauty of this oscillator as far as I'm concerned. So we start with a sine wave and then we'll engage timbre and uh, then symmetry and then order. CV to the timbre harmonic section is with a sequencer. So we have uh, timbre coming from uh, row one. Uh, we have uh, symmetry from row two, and I'm going to send row three to uh, modulation index. Here we go. Another fun game to play is modulating uh, with internal CVs. So we have a buzzy sawtooth-like wave with timbre at max, uh, order at max, and symmetry at even. So I'm just going to start playing with CVs. You can just follow along. <laughs> 